G'day folks. I've not done a lot of videos on refrigeration and valves and pressure systems and things like that in the past and never really thought about it until a few people asked me over the probably the last couple of years why don't you do a video on the, one of the smallest and most common yet overlooked valves around and that's the Schrader valve. The Schrader valve goes back into the 1800s and it's been used for things like tyres and well, most prom most predominantly tyres, but uh, it's in a lot of other things. Your average car has about nine or ten of them. It's not that you have ten tyres on your car, it's that they're used in refrigeration as well. Service ports. Your car's air conditioning system will have a charging port, or will have a high pressure and low pressure charging ports. It will also have pressure sensors, so there's another four there. Then you've got four or five in your tyres, depending whether or not you have a spare. And you may, if you have um, self or pressure adjustable shock absorbers on a, say, an older car, air over oil shock absorbers, you'll have one on the um, the charging port, or two, or three, or four. You could probably have quite a few Schrader valves on it. Now, motorcycles are the same. You've got air over oil uh, struts and shock absorbers. Um, fire extinguishers. My fire extinguishers are all big serviceable units, and they also have Schrader valves on them. They're a very common valve and a few people have asked me how do they work and why haven't they really changed over the years and yeah well they have sort of changed but they haven't really changed much it's just a really reliable poppet valve system. I mean out of all this stuff here this bag of brand new valves I can take one of these apart and still fit one of these like 30 year old old style valve cores and it will still work. They will still work together. The machining of the brass is still the same. I've tried it. I've partially dismantled a couple of them, but I have tried it and they will still work the same way. They're brand new valves, they still work. Um, yeah. Whether it's a car in a tube like that one there, they still come with the same valve, or a um, hand truck or a bicycle or whatever. They still use a standard Schrader style or Schrader patented poppet valve. And refrigeration is exactly the same. You push the pin in, gas comes out. Or you put a sealed chuck against it and push gas in, it goes in. As soon as you pull it off, the valve checks the flow. It's a poppet style check valve. Very simple and very effective. And I'll get the camera a little bit closer and take a couple of these apart for you just so you can see. Okay, so the basic tyre valve, let's go back to the old style one where this is seated against a seat in the base of the core, or the base of the stem. So you've got a spring here, you've got a rubber seal, just up on the top there, here's one that I've taken apart. There's a little rubber seat in that little cup there. You've got a valve body with a mechanical seal. This mechanical seal only works when this is tightened down properly. So when you actually take your valve tool and tighten the valve in, that pushes down tight and stays that way. If that's loose, the tyre will continue to lose air or the, the system will continue to lose gas no matter what you do. Or if it's damaged, if it's scored or sheared off or corro there's a lot of corrosion on the seat, it will continue to lose gas no matter what you do. So that seal must be intact. But when you depress the valve, this little pin here just pushes this little, little, rubber, rubber, little rubber disc off its seat. And inside here, there's a bit of room. So you've got gas passing through in and out of this inner passage through these holes and out or in, depending which way you're doing it. Let's say if you're letting air out of a tyre, you depress the valve, it releases a little rubber seal and the air pushes out through the tube, through the um, tubular body and out past these little holes here on either side and out through the, through, through the stem. And vice versa, when you put the air chuck on, it's got a little rubber seal around it that seals against here. So when you push it on, it depresses the stem and seals roughly at the same time. You always, you always hear a bit of a hiss of air when you connect the chuck up to your car's tyres. Anyone who's put air in their tyres knows what it's like. And uh, yeah, you hold it on tight and it pushes it in and 
the little air charging station determines what's in the tyre and how much to add and does its job. Or if you've got a little air gun like I use at home, you push it on there, look at the gauge and say, okay, it's down to 24, I'll pull the trigger and short bursts up until it's like 32. No problem. But uh, refrigeration's the same. You connect your gauge set up to it and screw them on there. You'll hear a little hiss of gas as you tighten the seal down. And once you're connected, you can look at your gauges and say, okay, this system's healthy or it's not or it needs refrigerant or it doesn't or whatever. The, ga the, the valve itself is uh, pretty simple. You've got a main threaded, well, I guess you say a threaded body with a plastic seal on it. That's a hard permanent mechanical seal. Once you screw that down inside the valve stem, that creates a permanent seal. If that leaks, you're going to keep losing air. But this here is what creates the seal. You've got a little rubber seal in there and a seat. So as long as that's under tension, and there's, particularly when there's air inside, if there's air inside the tyre at 30 pounds, there's even more pressure on there. It's trying to push that rubber seal against, and it, it creates a really good seal. That's why these valves are so good. They create a really good seal. These short ones here are just a modernised version. That spring is inside. That seat is right there, or the rubber seal. As you can see, I can still push the stem in, but the, the spring's inside. They're a self-contained unit. A lot more simple than these ones, and probably a lot cheaper to manufacture. These are a lot older. They're obsolete now. The colour of the bands determines the quality and the, the, um, the type of plastic seal on them. I think refrigeration ones are red, and the uh, normal air type, like tyre valves, are black. So I think this red one is a refrigeration stem. I'm not entirely sure. There's a whole data sheet on actual seal types for Schrader valves, for refrigeration, air conditioning, uh, shock absorbers, that kind of thing, like oil handling, that kind of stuff. There's plenty of applications for them, but the actual style doesn't really change. And to install, inside there's threads and a seat. So once it screws down inside, I mean right now, you try and put the air in there, the seat's loose, so it's still going to keep pissing out past that um, past that little plastic seal. So you've got to screw it down tight. There we go. Now this plastic seal, this black bit, is fully engaged with the brass body, so that is a mechanical seal. You screw it down tight, it's not going to leak unless it's scored or damaged or cracked. And when you connect the air chuck up, it depresses the pin and creates a seal around the outside. Push air in, take the chuck off, the valve checks the flow. Basic poppet valve principle. They're used in tractors, trucks, refrigeration, and pretty much everything else. Shock absorbers, fire extinguishers. They're used all across the board and the design hasn't really changed since the late 1800s. It's one of those parts of a car which just hasn't really changed. And it's one of the smaller, more, I guess it's one of those valves that people take for granted. And I'm all into compressed air and I'm one of those people that just likes fluid dynamics and air dynamics and that kind of thing. I like engineering. So uh, this is one of those devices that mankind has been using for so long and yet takes for granted. The simple poppet style Schrader valve. But yeah, essentially it's just a, a spring a plunger and a seat. You apply pressure to the plunger, the valve itself unseats, allows air in, when you take the air chuck away or the the connector, your, your gauge set or whatever it is, she springs shut and air pressure on the inside also helps to push that thing shut really tight. It takes a fair bit of pressure actually to press a, um, a valve core on a tyre when it's at 40 psi. You see it pushing is like pop as it, as it breaks free. So uh, yeah, same steel, same idea. This is the big truck stem that someone gave me. Oh, I think I found it at the scrapyard. Again, the same deal. Yep, little corroded, it's had a bit of moisture through it, but uh, black, black band. I think the red ones are refrigeration. And I think the black ones are compressed air. Don't quote me on that one. 
I could probably tell you from this one. Blue. Oh, blue or natural. That might be. That might actually be Teflon. Yeah. Refrigeration does have specific grades of uh, valve core. Uh, don't use standard tyre valves in uh, refrigeration ones unless you're completely sure of what you're doing. I have been told that they are completely different. This is out of a tractor, so it should be black banded. Get out of your hole. Come on. It's in very deep. No, no. Wow, that is short. Okay, that's interesting. It's just a very short. That's made out of aluminum. It's made out of aluminum and brass. With a very thin, soft seal. Okay. I learn something new every day. That's out of a tractor stem. <laughs> but again, you can see there's still a rubber element, main permanent seal, and an alu alu aluminium body. Oh, the spring's on the uh, outside. That's interesting. For a heavy-duty tractor valve stem, that's actually a pretty petty, petty, little, petty little valve stem, or valve core. Interesting. Oh, that was a surprise. There you go. You get an interesting video on probably one of the most overlooked valves in on Earth, along with a surprise. That tiny little aluminum and plastic valve core is on a heavy-duty tractor valve stem. <laughs> I think my car has better valve better quality valves than that thing. Thanks for watching.